What's good, YouTube? I'm Zero Zeus, and welcome back to another Baruto video. So, today's video is basically gonna be my episode 48, episode 49, like review, preview type of thing, like with Baruto. I think I'm just gonna start just cramming it all into one and just doing it all at the same time because sometimes I have things going on on the day, on the exact day when Baruto comes out, so I can't be as early as I want to, so I always end up doing it the next day, so I'm sorry about that, and before we go any further, please like and subscribe, but uh, you know, like I said, I'm sorry about that, and so basically, we're going to try to do both of those, I'm going to talk about both of those, and we're going to go through the preview after, you know, I, st I stopped talking about last week's episode, and then we start talking about this week's episode, because unlike Super, at least Baruto is coming on, so anyway, let's get into the video. <clears throat> so basically last episode I really I kind of thought last episode I think episode 48 I thought it was gonna be trash I'm not even gonna tell you no like not trash but I thought it was gonna be kind of slow and boring and but it really wasn't it was like I kind of like where it went to and even though it, they basically explore what I thought they were like you know Iwabi they failure they, they were going all into that I really like the you know, I like the moments between their team. I think it was really cool. And I always knew that their teacher, I'm like, who is he? I swear he looks like the boy who was with Kona Homaru as a kid. And he was the one with the snot dripping out of his nose. But we can get to that in a minute. But it's just like, yeah, I just always, I knew it was him. But, you know, I got confirmed last week, even though everybody else probably already knew. But I didn't. I'm sorry. So anyway. Basically, Iwabi is feeling bad and, you know, he's feeling like, you know, guilty because he feels like he failed, basically. And so Naruto, I guess he notices this, basically. And he's like, you know, this mission right here would be perfect for them. And I guess it was, it, he was using them. They were, they were going to use them in a commercial, basically like promoting being a shinobi, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And, <clears throat> you know, they were up for it. And basically when they were doing the actual shooting of the scenes and stuff and they were taking pictures of i want to say not shooting but um i think udon i think that's how you say his name udon udon i think that's how you say his name he kind of got pissed at them a little bit because they were more focused on making a ninja look cool instead of showing that a ninja should be determined and you know, like somebody you could rely in. And it, it just went into this whole new place that I didn't think it was. At first, I just thought their teacher were just being a dick just to be a dick. But then when I realized who he was and what, why he's acting that way, because he used to be kind of like that. And he was a crybaby and stuff. And it's, I just like how he can resonate with them. Like he understands having to repeat. And even though I don't think Metal Lee and Denki, I don't think they've repeated at all, but, you know, he understands, like, Denki's not really the toughest guy ever, and, you know, Metal Lee, you know, he gets real nervous really fast, so he can kind of relate to those problems, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, I really like that, and <clears throat> basically, he pulled them out of the shoot, and he's like, oh, because they don't understand what a shinobi is about, he doesn't want them to repre represent shinobi the wrong way in the commercial, so he pulls them out, and I I'm a little foggy on the episode, but I think I can't remember what's happening, but they ended up having to help. Something ended up happening, an accident or it was something. And basically they ended up having to save the crew. Okay, first of all, before I go into this, let me just add the person who was taking the pictures of them was so mean. Like <laughs> he didn't hold anything back. He's like, why do you got these failures in front of me? I'm not, I don't want them in my commercial. Like, he, he was just basically whoring them. It was really bad. <laughs> I don't know why he did them like that, even though they looked pretty cool from what he, the way he described it was like, well, they look cool, but they failure, so uh, fuck them, like, it was kind of messed up, but anyway, he, it, they end up having to save the same person who was talking shit about them, and it's really f crazy how it came back full circle, I like that, and so basically, they still end up doing a commercial, and instead of them looking cool, they wanted it to be about the determination and never fail and never giving up and guts and, you know, I just eat that type of stuff up. I love that. So at the end of the episode, what was really, really funny, and I know everybody had to go into this because I'm about to go into this, Naruto. <laughs> Naruto talking to them and basically him telling them like, oh, it's okay, you know, if you fail and you know, just never give up because I used to be the same. I used to do the same thing. I, I just love that. That 
that goofy Naruto. He's still the same, even though he grew up. And it's, you know, I just love that. I just love any time Naruto's involved. You know, that was my favorite character out of Naruto, period. I, I, you know, but um, I think that about wraps it up for that. So now let's go into this preview. So that was last week's episode. This is this week's episode. So we're going to um, watch the preview. This might not be that long. Because my video is already so many minutes already. Not so many minutes, but you know, by the time I get finished and if I really get into like a real talkative mood while on this subject, it'll be really long. But anyway, we're going to watch this. So this is about Sumire and her team. I think it's Team 15 and it's um, Hinata's little sister, um, Hanabi. Hanabi is their leader. They, they, she's their teacher, I guess. And... That's, yeah, that, that's that's pretty cool. And plus, you get to see the girl who had new A. You get to see what they're doing at least. And I think the other little girl, like with like the, I hate to say cat powers, but like the cat powers, they look pretty cool, I guess. When she uses them, even though cat powers, I just have to say, aren't really that cool. But the way they have her use them, it is. It just, it looks cool. But yeah, so anyway, let's watch this preview and we're going to see what's going on. <clears throat> <laughs> really are they dressed up as animals like I, I could this is gonna be a little goofy episode next week but i'm not gonna shoot it down just yet because you never know yes please please stop her from crying all the time that's every time i see her it's just like the whole world is in and you would think <laughs> And it'd be, I don't know why, when I seen that foot, it reminded me of that elephant type of monster thing that um I think it was Donzo. Donzo used while he was fighting Sasuke. And it looked so doofy. Like, I wonder, that that foot just made me think of that. Where did she get a monkey from? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So basically, their mission is, I guess they need to find this miniature monkey, the one that she has right there. And I guess... They end up getting angry at each other. They find they end up running across a problem. They get angry at each other. She ends up running off. And I guess she ends up finding a monkey while she runs off. But then she finds like an unexpected danger too. And, you know, we're going to see what this episode's about. I'm not going to shoot it down because <clears throat> Baruto's been surprising me lately. And I've been just trash talking my boy Baruto. I'm going to dial it back a little bit. No, no respect, Baruto. I'm going to show you a little respect. But anyway, before I end this video... Even though I only show the preview one one time, I'm play it again while I'm sitting here talking about this. But um, I'm not gonna go through all the spoilers. But <clears throat> we have, I think we've been confirmed that Sasuke is gonna be showing up in like the next two or three episodes. And if he is, I promise you, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be on it. I'm gonna try my best to be early, no matter what's going on on that day. Because when anything hype happens in Boruto, you gotta be on it. Because <laughs> you never know how long it'll be until something else hype takes place. So, Sasuke, I wonder what he is going to be. Because I think the episode is called Sasuke's Shadow. I, I don't know if it's going to be like they were, if, if they're referring to Boruto being Sasuke's Shadow. Or, you know, are they just going to be showing us what Sasuke's doing, what he's been doing, or what was going on. Or, you know, are we going to see Kenshiki? Or is, like, how are they going to go about that? But we will see. I think it's like episode 52, 51, 53, one of the two. One of those. But anyway, this is the end of the video. I've been Zero Zeus. This has been my Baruto episode 48 review slash episode 49 preview. So get kind of used to this because this might be a thing I might be doing a whole lot in the future. But anyway, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. I will 